Good morning, guys. It's about a little after seven o'clock this morning. Um, I'm missing my walk this morning. Got to spend some time working on some 30th anniversary stuff before I go to work. Uh, so I just wanted to come in and I wanted to come outside and catch the morning sun. No, I'm not walking. Hopefully I'll get a chance to walk later, but I can't guarantee today be, may be a no walking day. Um, my coffee's just inside making. So before I drink my coffee, I thought I would come in here and uh, give you guys the rundown from yesterday. So yesterday was uh, Thursday. By the way, today is Friday, September 13th. And um, so it's 13 days of our high fat challenge. Yesterday was Thursday and uh, I, uh, what did I do yesterday? Oh my gosh. Um, oh, so for breakfast, I had a couple of hot dogs, two hot dogs and about a couple of tablespoons of butter and also um, some mustard. That was probably around uh, three o'clock, something like that, uh, three, two or three o'clock in the afternoon. And then I was out running errands from 3.30 till like almost nine o'clock last night. And I got, uh, before I took my granddaughter home, Layla, before I took her home, I actually stopped and got two McDonald's quarter pound patties. I got a quarter pounder with cheese, plain, no bun, and added an extra patty. Um, and then um, and when I got home, I ate some butter. I ate about two and a half tablespoons of butter. And then I had a can of uh, sardines before I went to bed because I was still kind of hungry. So... Um, I feel like McDonald's quarter pound patties are shrinking. Has anybody else noticed that? So I don't know if they're still a quarter pound, but they're definitely smaller than they used to be. So, but anyway, that was really good because they came out hot and fresh. So I just kind of sat in my car right there at McDonald's and ate them while they were hot. And it was really good, <gasps> really tasty. <sighs> Sorry. Um, so um, so yeah, yesterday was just a busy day. Today's going to be another busy day. I got to go to work. And then, um, tonight is the big event. So I'll take you guys with me. I'll let you guys see. I think I showed in my yesterday's video, I showed some of the, what the venue looked like when we got there yesterday to, to set up, but I'm going to show you again today. Um, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm going to do my hair today and all that business. And so, it's going to be a busy, busy day. I did take a couple hours off of work so that I would have time to focus on getting ready. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on this morning. And uh, we're getting ready to have coffee. My coffee should be about done and I will come back and we'll have some coffee. Good morning, you guys, it's coffee time. So what you can see me doing here is I'm cleaning out all the other coffee, I mean, collagen peptides that I have had in my cabinet. So this is Orgain. I think I got about two servings of this in this jar. And I'm gonna go on Amazon and see if I can't find my um, native path collagen peptides and get those because I don't know if I'll, I don't want to be without my collagen. I don't want to be without it. All right, here's my keto brain nootropic. You guys may or not, may not realize that I am an affiliate for keto, keto brain nootropic. So there is a link in my description box down below. And I make a couple cents if you guys buy this, but I just want you to try it for your brain because it's absolutely amazing. All right, so here's my butter. <sighs> We're gonna go with three tablespoons of butter. I need to like increase the pace of my getting my butter in. So I'm gonna go with three tablespoons this morning. I think I got almost a stick of butter yesterday only because when I had my stick of butter out, my husband came and used some of it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna add a little salt and some iodine somebody was asking can you get this iodine in the um 
grocery store, I mean, the at the pharmacy? I'm not sure. I will check into that and I'll put a short out and let you know. 10 drops. Let me grab the coffee. My coffee this morning is a combination of kicking horse decaf and pumpkin spice. So I like pumpkin spice. I know not everybody is a pumpkin spice lover, but I enjoy the pumpkin spice season. Love my pumpkin spice. So um, this has pumpkin spice in it. Did I show you my cup? Cup of happy. Indeed it is. All right, you guys, it's time for get ready with me. I am getting ready to go to this event tonight. So I'm getting ready to do my hair and I thought I would just come in here and show you guys how I'm doing that. I'm gonna blow dry first. And then I bought some of this silk infusion here. Chi, well, this is actually keratin mist mm, i hope yeah it's for it's a heat treatment so i'm gonna put some of this on before i do my flat ironing directions spray evenly throughout the hair and leave in proceed with styling i really hope that this is like uh this is not exactly what i thought it was i thought this was a heat treatment oh my gosh so chi infra it says so hopefully it's got that heat treatment stuff in it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little of this on. Before my hair gets very dry. Just brush it through. The brush that I'm using is called the Unbrush. I got it off of the TikTok shop. It's really, really nice. Okay, so I think it's dry. Oh, no, there's a couple damp spots in the back, so we'll get that dried all the way. And then I'm gonna show you. I'm using my Tymo hot brush. And this thing is like super awesome. I'm going for the look of a silk press at home. So I think I mentioned to you guys a couple of days ago that my hair is very, um, it is untrained, I'll call it. Um, and so what I mean by that is that it is not trained to be straight at all. It wants to be curly, period. So, um, and if I even sweat even in the tiniest little bit, my hair is gonna frizz back up, it's gonna curl up. Um, you saw like before I blow dried how absolutely curly this hair is. I am a curly suit. See the timo is heated all the way up. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Mm-hmm. Probably didn't even need a second swipe, but there it is. This thing is really, really nice. It's easy to use and 
um, doing a kind of a thick piece this time. I'm gonna split this. Don't want it to be that thick. So I think the thinner that you make your uh, parts, the easier it is for the straightener to straighten it fully. So, you know, when you go to the salon, your hairdresser is like parting these tiny little pieces. It's so hard for me to do that at home though, to be honest. So I really don't do it that way. But um, today I want my hair to last. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I gotta do here. All right, let's just see, that's one swipe. Let's see what we get. Yeah, that's nice. One swipe, I'm gonna try to do them all with one swipe instead of overheating my hair. Like, I don't wanna burn my hair up. Especially since I'm not sure about this keratin product, whether it helps with heat or not. So I'm gonna just uh, do them in one swipe. This is the Unbrush Plus. I also got that from the TikTok shop. And I'm already starting to sweat, you guys. Ugh. I have to take a break. Maybe go do something else for a little while. The really nice thing about this is that you can get super close to the scalp and not really burn yourself. That is just superb. Guess I need to make an appointment with the hairdresser for a haircut. Yeah, you can see how the ends are poofing out. That's because of split ends. There we go. Okay, this is the last piece. And I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try to pin curl this. Now, I have not really done pin curls before, but I want the ends of my hair to curl and I don't have a curling iron. So, we're gonna practice pin curls. Okay, so I was just watching the video um, and I want big, loose curls. So I'm going to wrap my hair around here. She said, make sure you get those ends tucked in though. So I wanna make sure my ends are smooth. Um, let me try again. My aunt used to do this all the time when I was a kid and I was fascinated that she was able to curl her hair without any rollers or anything. So I'm hoping that this works. Yeah, I just want big flowing curls, not like anything too um, curly. I want it to be loose. So I'm just going to just roll this up like this. Make sure those ends are in, tucked in, smooth. Get in there, ends. Okay. I don't want any frizzy ends. And, um... So she said part it in four sections. Um, I didn't do that. I just um, did section one, like did section one, and then I'm gonna do the next section. She said, now what you do wanna do is section one and two. So this is one, this is two, the same direction. So, 
Y'all think this is going to work? <laughs> what do you guys think? Is it going to work? I hope so. All right. So that's, this is section one. I'm going to do section two next. And then I'll come back and show you like how I'm going to do section three. We'll see if we can get some curls going on here. Okay, so this other side, we're gonna go the opposite direction. Again, I don't want no little small curls. I want large, like flowing curls. So I'm gonna split this. And I think I have to twirl, twirl it this way, you guys. Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, so the opposite direction of the other ones, which means this away. Get in there. Ends. Get those ends in there. Okay. And uh, we're going to go this way. <sighs> you know, these home remedies be tripping. I should have made a hair appointment, but I'm just like cheap. <laughs> I'm cheap. That's what it is. Except when it comes to buying meat. I'll spend all my money buying meat. Okay. Let's go ahead and finish this up and then I'll come back. Hi, you guys. Yeah, I know I look crazy. I pinned my curls down, but I wanted to show you guys what I'm having for breakfast. This is my burger patty. This is a butter burger. I fried this butter burger in butter in my cast iron, and then I poured all of those drippings over the top. So um, it's like two o'clock. I'm getting ready to break my fast, and uh, this is what I'm having. So my hamburger was delicious. It just wasn't enough food. So what am I having? I'm having the rest of my carnivore bar. I sprinkled a little salt on it. Carnivore bar is good. I keep it in the refrigerator. Um, and uh, I just sprinkled a little salt on this unsalted one. And I'm hoping that this is going to fill me the rest of the way up because my hamburger patty with butter, I should have had two since I waited so long to eat. So, here we go. Okay, getting ready to take this down. Kinda wanted to see what it's gonna do. Ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh, I learned a new trick today, you guys. So excited. Okay, let's, I don't wanna mess them up. So. That is so cool. I'm not gonna comb them out or anything. I'm just gonna let them drop on their own because I know they will drop. So, mm -hmm. there we go. And uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? Pen curls, never. I mean, I just didn't have no rollers, so I was like, let's figure out something. And I remembered my aunt used to do these pin curls all the time when I was growing up. So cool, really, really cool. All right, let me finish it up and then I'll come back. Okay, there we have it. I got some clips I can put in case this gets just to be too much for me. So, <gasps> all right, there it is see what happens because y'all know as soon as I step outside into the humidity all right let me put a scarf on try if I can't keep this try to see if I can't keep this laying down a little longer we'll just see what we can do I gotta get out of here in just a few minutes 
go pick up the girls and pick up a few things. So um, I'm gonna take my clips with me. Maybe I can get somebody that will work at the church to help me with them. Let me show you what I'm wearing. All right, this is what I'm wearing. I'll try to make sure we get some pictures taken. So I'm annoyed because I'm on the back roads, right? And <laughs> I was on my way to go pick up Layla and Melody and realized I walked away and forgot something. So I had to turn around and go back. Now I am in front of the car that's driving 30 miles an hour in a 55 mile zone. And I really wish this person would turn. Like, but it looks like they're going the exact same way I'm going. Are you kidding me? This is just out of control. Ah, and it's gotta be because I'm in a hurry why this person is in front of me and I can't pass them because this is like a no passing zone. Oh, my word. So what would take me like a couple of minutes to do is gonna take me a couple extra minutes because this person ain't got nowhere to go. This person has nowhere to go. He has nowhere to be, obviously. My gosh, <laughs> guys, road rage. Yes. Okay. 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 Hi, girls. Hi. So, as you can see, my hair is already starting to get bigger. Yep, that's what happens. I finally took the last pen out, but it is what it is. This is what happens. So I'm at the banquet. And, uh, this is what they brought me to eat. Let me show you. Just got home from the event. I'm having two hot dogs, butter and mustard. 